Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today, as part of the equipment series, we're gonna go over what's inside my ringside bag. And I mean, you might not even know what a ringside bag is. So what is it? It's a bag, a carrier. It's something that you take your most needed equipment that you might need right before you go into the ring and or if you're in the ring for a lengthy period of time, a huge breed, a specialty, a group, a puppy group, definitely take it for best in show or best puppy in show because that's always when you are going to need things. Now, what goes inside your ringside bag is going to vary a lot by who you are, what breed you show, whether you're inside, outside, and maybe even what part of the country or what kind of weather it is where you are. All right, so um, they make lots of, there's lots of fancy ringside bags out there. You can get ones that, you know, are embroidered with your name, your kennel name, your dog's photo. Um, they can be big, they can be little. We're just gonna use this ringside tote by Chris Christensen. This is the large one. Maybe you just need the little one. What a ringside bag is, is not your tack box, right? It's not every, you could use this as a tack box, but that's not what you're taking to ringside for many, many reasons. You just want the things that you need right away because you're going to be in a state you're competing and also you if it goes missing you don't want all of your stuff to be missing so to that end when we are talking about shears maybe you're showing a scissored breed that you need a pair of shears or thinning shears you know for a double coated breed at ringside right don't bring your best shears to ringside um, just in case they go missing right so first things first um what other things do I typically put in my ringside bag? Well, you know, what touch-up products do I need? Do I need a texturizing spray for the breed that I'm showing? Um, definitely for like a poodle, I need some hairspray. Um, for lot, most breeds, I might need some nice shine spray, give that last little shine, especially maybe I'm gonna be in a huge bitch class and then have to go back in for winner's bitch or best of winners, a little bit of shine spray, maybe an anti-stat spray or another kind of texturizing spray, maybe just water in a spray bottle for those kinds of touch-ups. Remember our dog is standing on a wet towel, so you know we don't usually put things in for their feet. Um, brush it or bait, right? So different squeaky toys, different sizes and shapes, whatever you use, is it a ball, is it a stick, is it a squeaky toy? Um, what kind of bait do you need? Always extra bait is in my ringside tote. Um, you know, we're just using dog cookies as an example today because I didn't want to cook liver just for this video. So in that goes. Um, I like to take lip gloss because like I always have dry lips and I need it. I also, which I don't have here with me, take a bottle of water um, for me and typically maybe a little bowl, depend, like especially outdoor hot shows. I'm going to have a separate little station at ringside that's going to have a bowl um, and cold water for my dog. So. This is where my lip gloss goes back here. I'm probably not gonna take a slicker brush to ringside. A slicker brush is more your finish grooming. You're not typically going to use this at, in, at ringside, but you know, our smooth coated dogs, our terriers, our setters, our spaniels, you might need a good top coat brush to get that top coat down at the last minute. You might need a good pin brush for some breeds for smoothing out the coat, smoothing down those ears. Uh, you could need one or two combs, depending on what breed you have, to, for those last minute touch ups. Um, again, breed specific, a drool cloth, right? Those are handy. Um, wet wipes, wet wipes are good for dogs and people that have any kind of accident on the way to ringside. Um, Nutri-Cal or honey, I like to have this in my ringside bag year round. I typically like honey because I can use it as well if I'm having a little bit, I need a little bit of energy. But Nutri-Cal or honey is a great one. Um, Visine, Visine is again, you know, you know dogs that get a little bit of that red haw, a little bit of that red in their eye. Visine is a great one to have. And uh, depending on your dog, maybe you, your dog goes on two different leads, right? Like, you know, we're not bringing a spare lead in case our leash breaks um, because hopefully you don't think your equipment is gonna fail. When I bring a spare lead or have one in my ringside bag is when I'm, you know, bringing up a young dog um, or just have a dog that just is like, I'm not sure what lead to use based on what day they're kind of having in their head. So I might have that spare leash, you know, sometimes I'm showing them on a longer leash or a shorter leash or a soft collar or a slip chain or whatever it might be. So I'd have that extra lead. So 
Uh, clearly, this is not just the only things that I might have in my ringside bag, but you can kind of get the idea of the smattering of different things that I would bring in my ringside bag. A few other notes is I would like my ringside bag to be marked with my name or kennel name in some way, shape or form so that people can return it to me. Should somebody else happen to pick it up, it gets, you know, people, non dog show people or even dog show people might not realize this is a ringside bag and return it to lost and found, right? Cause it just looks like a bag of dog equipment to them. I like it to have different kinds of handles, right? Cause if I'm carrying it and a small dog to ringside or it and a larger dog to ringside, I have different ways to hold on to it as well. I like to have some kind of identification on all my things that are in my ringside bag again. So if they get left at ringside for any reason, they can be either returned to me or I can identify them in Lost and Found. So um, I hope that that covers, you know, why you would have a ringside bag, when you would use it, some of the things. Like obviously it's a very, very exhaustive list as to what you could have in it. If you're showing a basset, you might have a snood in there, right? To like get your dog up to ringside. Um, you might have um, a little bit of makeup or chalk for a dog that maybe you've powdered in a face or a blemish in case that kind of gets like worn away. Um, you might take extra rubber bands for your armband in here. That's another good one for ones that break. Maybe a breath mint, a piece of gum, something that's going to like calm your nerves down, give you something to do. Um, you know, whatever you need to be comfortable for you at your dog when you're at ringside. So away from your benching area, that's what I want you to have in your ringside bag. I hope that helps. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.